Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Fluid Art Express. Up first, you would have seen Taslima from Taslima Mayer Art. After me, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. Um, Shannon, unfortunately, won't be on today. So we have Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art and Tony the Hippie Dippy Painter Man. So, short one this week, but it's all good. So, what I figured we'd do today is have a little bit of an experiment day, just for a little bit of fun. So, what I've got here is an 8-inch MDF round. It's got British Paints, Low Sheen, Wall Paint, straight out of the tin. Well, I actually scoop it out of the tin and put it in little sauce bottles. Makes it just easier to do what you're doing with it. So, that's already down and I've already spun it out, so it's... No movement in it. Then I've put some colours here in a little shot glass. Now, they were all Pepio fluorescent colours. So what I'm going to do is just do a little pour in the middle here. little bit by little bit now these are actually all bloom consistency so they're reasonably thick because I don't want it to move around too much Okay, like that. So I've got my little paint dot in the middle. Gotta put that on the center of my spinner, which is roughly around here somewhere for the next part. I might actually just rotate that a little bit okay so what I'm going to do now is grab some random colors which are all eye candies and we'll have a little bit of a play so what I'm going to do is rotate the spinner like that because it just makes it easier to get a round circle going on. All right, I'm just gonna add some little dots here and there. Like that. So there's our first color. Grab some orange. So that's arc orange. The other one was a modified um, satin yellow. I'd already added a few little bits and pieces into that. I think it was... Um, Interference gold. Yeah, a little bit of Shiro white and some other little bits and pieces. Alright, we'll give that another spin. We'll go with some magma magenta.
取って。Now we have a custom color which is wisteria purple mixed with dioxazine purple. So it looks like that. I might go the other way this time. Okay. We'll add some blue, which is Okinawa blue. What else do we have? Plastic pink. Put some of that on. Pacific blue. Some quinacridone red violet. That and that should do us, I think. All right, hopefully, you're not too dizzy by now. So, now I'm going to grab some cell activator, which is Amsterdam. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Oxide black. Mixed with Australian Floetrol at roughly three to one. Gonna grab my little swipe tool. Give that a little bit of a mix. Okay, we'll put some of that on our swipe tool. Like that. Oops. Gonna wind it round a little bit by a little bit, go roughly halfway, add more cell activator. Now, the reason I go halfway is you can see where I've got big cells and then they get littler and littler as it goes. This way, you get to keep them all reasonably big. All right, so we've got a couple of little swipes there just to get some cells. Then what I'm going to do is grab a smaller little pallet knife. And we're going to scoop underneath those. And 
and drag some out. So we've got a whole heap of little scoop and drags in amongst it. Like that. What I'm going to do is in the center part here, I'm just going to add some little swirly bits through here. some little wispy bits up through here that's pretty good like that over here all those little lines we're gonna just break them up a little bit that all right so that's what we've got to start with pretty hard to see with this light but it doesn't look too bad we'll throw that down aim for the middle of the spinner Give that a little bit of a spin. If you need to adjust it, just move it in the direction you want it to go. So spin it out there and then see if you want to do any little other modifications. spin all right just wipe my hands off we'll pop that one up that off underneath like 
that. And there you go. Got something that's really trippy. So we've got our little straight pour, radial swipe, scoop and drag. <laughs> How much fun are they? All right, I'll throw a, um, a fly up, a fly up, a fly over up, so you can have a bit of a closer look and see how it turned out. But they're a load of fun. On and on a bigger piece, you get some crazy cool effects. The bigger you go, the, the more you can put into it to make it look really trippy, so. Definitely a load of fun. Great way to use up all your leftover paints too. Where you've only got a little bit of each colour left. Not enough to do anything that you really want to do. Something like this where it's all mixed together. Jumble it up. That way you're not wasting paint. And you can still turn out some pretty cool stuff. So definitely loads of fun. Alright guys. Up next we have Christy from Creations by Christy. So if you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you to her YouTube page. If you're in the live chat, just click on the links that I'm putting in there. It'll take you to her premiere. And if you're a member of Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, just click on the play all link that I've put in there and it'll play every video of everybody that's on today. All right, guys, that's it from me. I hope you're having a great weekend. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.